take your dollar bill and I'm going to fold it once, I'm going to fold it twice, I'm going to fold it three times, I'll fold it the fourth time, and I'm going to unfold it. And when I do, Herb, there is going to be a $100 bill. Close, right? I'm doing it one zero at a time. <laughs> okay? <laughs> one zero time. So that's one zero. Um, all right. Well, uh, you know, Herb, I think, Laura, you would know that um, you, you need to use other people's money to make money. And I just did that. I used a dollar of yours, and I'm $10 ahead of the game, as I counted, right? Well, thank you, you know, thank you, uh, you know, very much. Um, oh, no, no, don't go anywhere yet. Because what I'm going to do, Herb, like I promise, because I always um, keep my promise, I'm going to turn your dollar bill into 100. That's the good news. Okay. Okay. Herb, by the way, do you know what dollar bills are made out of? Paper? Close. Do you know that, that dollar bills are really made out of cotton and linen fibers? Did you know that? Really? Like material, right? Not really, not really uh, paper. It's not. It's fibers. Watch. I'll show you what I'm talking about. Because if you take the bill and you push it into there, watch. It's going to go in paper or cotton fibers. And if you pick a little, see, that's kind of made out of like that. Cool, isn't it? <laughs> See that? <laughs> See that? Now, the good news, Herb, like I told you, the good news is I'm changing your dollar bill into 100, as you can see. <laughs> the bad news is, Herb, I don't know many places where you will be able to spend this bill. Just do me a favor, just touch any one card. Okay, just touch one. That's the one you want. You sure? Mm -hmm. Okay, take it. Okay. I've got a paperback book here. How about you read? You read? You know how to read? Yeah. Okay, great. Okay. Make sure, look through that book and make sure it's a normal book, that all the pages are not the same that there's just a normal everyday paperback book. Okay? I've got here a pad and I'm going to number one, two, and three. There's one, two, three. Um, how about you? Would, you? would you like to help me? Just write down any three numbers. Any three numbers from one to 500. Okay? It could be 223, 96. Okay? Any three numbers, write those down. Okay? You know, I like to go out to eat a lot. Whenever I go out to eat, I collect matchbooks. You know why? It's free. <laughs> it's a free hobby. Okay? So, for example, um, I've been to, I'll just give you some of the places, places I've been to. This one is called Canyonita Taqueria. It's a Mexican restaurant that, that I don't remember going to, tell you the truth, but there's one of the possible restaurants that I went to. Um, oh, this one. Matchbook of a friend of mine from uh, from high school. It's a wedding. Um, here is Applebee's. That's a possibility. One of my favorites, the Chart House. Okay. Um, here's one called Guadalajara's. We like Mexican food, as you can as you can tell. So what I'd like you to do, how about how about you? Would you like to just just reach inside, close your eyes, reach inside, pull one out? Okay. Okay. All right. So I'm hoping. That, um, that maybe we can make some sense out of this dream that I had or this vision that I had. All right, let's see what we got. Um, could you give me the, the numbers that are here, please? Okay, I, don't, I don't even want to see them. I don't even want to see them. Okay, numbers from 1 to 500. There's about 500 pages in that book. Okay, Lisa, could you do me a favor? Yeah. I know you from before, remember. Just any one of those. Okay, just, just look at any one of those pages. Okay, turn to that page, if you will, please. If you will, read the top line. Go to the top line of that page and read that. Read that. The captain carries his coffee and donuts. What, what, what? Could you repeat that? The captain carries his coffee Co and... The captain carried his coffee? Yes. Did you say coffee? I said coffee. Now it's beginning to make a little bit of sense to me. <laughs> now it's beginning to make a little bit of sense to me. Okay. Got it. Thank you.
Thank you. What's your name, sir? Jay. Jay, what was the card that you selected? Queen of Spades. Can we see it? Queen of Spades, of course. Now it's making all the sense in the world to me. What's your name again, sir? Glenn. What's, which restaurant did you choose? Rooney's Ocean Crab House. Rooney's Ocean Crab House. <sighs> of course. Janet, could you please come on up here with the envelope? I don't even want to go near the envelope. Could you rip it open? There's a strip there. You can rip that open. Okay, reach inside. There's, a, there's an envelope. Could you take out the envelope? Could you please just rip it open or take out a, take, there's a piece of, should be a piece of paper in there with my vision. Okay, just, just for a clarification. Jay, could you repeat that? Queen of Spades. The captain has a cup of coffee at Rooney's Ocean Crib. Could you please, Janet, open it up in your, in your loudest voice. Could you read what it says? The Queen of Spades is drinking a cup of coffee at Rooney's Crib. Oh. <laughs>